We now learn how to calculate or evaluate logarithms by hand, and we're going to learn the method with some examples. As a first example, let's say we're asked to evaluate log base 3 of 9. Well, to begin with, we know that this has to equal to something, and we'll go ahead and call that something x. So we can write log base 3 of 9 equals to x. Now, this equation is a logarithmic equation, and the method we learn here involves rewriting this equation as an exponential equation. And to do that, we're going to need the well-known result that I'll just remind ourselves of at the top of the page. Remember, if log base b of some number a equals to c, then b raised to the power of c will equal to a. And just to make things clear, when we write log base b of a equals to c, that's the logarithmic form. And when we write b to the power of c equals to a, that's the exponential form. But both of these equations are completely equivalent. So to solve log base 3 of 9 equals to x, we start by rewriting this equation in its exponential form. So that would be 3 to the power of x equals to 9. And now the trick is to write both sides of this equation as powers of the same number. We can see on the left-hand side that the base is 3. So let's try and write the right-hand side as a power of 3. Now looking at the number 9 here, it doesn't take us too long to remember that 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 2. Using that fact, we can rewrite the equation as 3 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of 2. And now that both sides of the equation are written as powers of the same number, we can equate the exponents. In other words, we can now write x equals to 2. And that's the answer. Indeed, log base 3 of 9 equals to 2, which we could write in exponential form as 3 to the power of 2 equals to 9. As another example, say we have to calculate log base 2 of 16. Well, again, our starting point is to keep in mind that this has to equal to something. And so let's say that this equals to x. Now, this equation is written in logarithmic form. So our first step is to rewrite it in exponential form. So that would be 2 to the power of x equals to 16. Now we have to make sure that both sides of the equation are written as powers of the same number. We can see that on the left-hand side, we have 2 raised to the power of x. So let's try and write the right-hand side as a power of 2. Now, you may be able to write 16 as a power of 2 directly. And if so, don't worry, we're going to get there in a minute. But if you don't know how to write 16 as a power of 2 right away, here's a quick trick. We know that 16 is equal to 4 to the power of 2. And in turn, we know that 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. So combining these two results, we can say that 16 equals to, in parentheses, 2 to the power of 2, close parentheses, raised to the power of 2. And now these powers multiply together, so that gives us 16 equals to 2 to the power of 4. So we can rewrite our equation as 2 to the power of x equals to 2 to the power of 4. And now that both sides of the equation are written as powers of the same number, we can go ahead and equate the exponents. That is, we can write x equals to 4. And that's the answer. In other words, log base 2 of 16 is equal to 4. Or, in exponential form, 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. Let's look at one more example. Say we have to find log base 4 of 64. Well, again, our starting point is to say that this equals to some number which we'll call x. And now we see that this is a logarithmic equation, so let's start by rewriting it in its exponential form. So that would be 4 raised to the power of x is equal to 64. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure that both sides of the equation are written as powers of the same number. On the left-hand side, we can see that we're dealing with powers of 4. 
So let's go ahead and try and write 64 as a power of 4. And you may know what power of 4 64 is right away. And if so, just bear with me for a few seconds. If you don't know which power of 4 64 is, here's what you could typically do on your scrap paper to find it. We know that 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16, and so 4 to the power of 3 would be 4 times 16. And 4 times 16 is equal to 64. So this equation can be rewritten as 4 to the power of x equals to 4 to the power of 3. And now that both sides of the equation are written as powers of the same number, we can go ahead and equate the exponents. So that would be x equals to 3. And that's the answer. In other words, log base 4 of 64 is equal to 3. Or in exponential form, we can write 4 to the power of 3 equals to 64. And there we have it. That's how we can calculate logarithms using the exponential form. And that's it for this tutorial.